YouTube. I'm Nye from Finale Guitar in Sheffield and you're watching my channel Folk Friend, your one-stop shop for Celtic backing guitar tutorials. This is the very first in my brand new series of play-alongs and in this series I'm going to be releasing a whole load of classic Irish and Scottish tunes. They're going to be played at three different speeds, slow, medium and fast and in each version there's going to be a chord chart on the screen which will show you in karaoke fashion which chords to play at which part of the tune. I would like your feedback on this. My general idea is that I'll have three versions of the chords. One of them will be simple, uh, just chords 1, 4 and 5, or 1, 7 and 5 if it's Mixolydian. One of them will have some basic substitutions in it, and then one of them will be more advanced and maybe have some more jazzy chords in it, or potentially some more complicated kind of chord inversions and those kinds of things. What I want to know from you, the audience, the viewers at home, is would you prefer um, three different versions of the chords where the third one is like what I would play with all the more complicated jazz chords and stuff like that? Or would you prefer it to be kept with just the simple chords so you can work out your own variations on those, put in your own substitutions and things like that for all three speeds? Um, what do you think would be the best format? So what I'm going to do in this video is the slow version of the tune is just going to have the very simple chords. The medium version of the tune is going to have two rounds with the very simple chords and two rounds with some slightly more advanced chords with just some basic substitutions like related minors and those kinds of things. And then the more advanced version is going to have two rounds with the basic substitutions as in the medium version and then two rounds with some slightly more complicated chords. I'm not going to go full out jazz um, all of the chord extensions and stuff like that that I would play. I'm just going to put in some basic things like major sevens, minor sevens and those kinds of things. The general aim is that I'm going to release these in packs of 20 further on down the line where you can watch some of them for free on YouTube and practice playing along but you will also be able to buy a full pack um, at a very affordable price which will come with the blogs which show you the more complicated chords and all that stuff as well and lots of different versions of chords and chord diagrams and things like that. So that's my kind of general goal, but I want to get these free ones as, as perfect as possible before I start doing that. So please let me know in the box down below what you think, how I can improve them. Also hit the little like button, that really helps me out. And if you hit the subscribe, you'll get all my free play-alongs and my Celtic guitar tutorials straight to your inbox for free every week. Last thing is, I'm going to be leaving the metronome on in this video. So the metronome is going to be there to try and help you keep in time. I've had various feedback on this from um, my guitar students who are learning folky stuff. Some people say they like to play with the metronome on because it helps them stay in time and other people really hate it and say it's not like playing along with a real musician um, and it doesn't sound natural, it's an irritating little blippy noise. So I'd be really interested to know how you think um, is better with or without it or potentially I might actually put a boron track on in future so that you've got a sort of more natural sounding drum rhythm to uh, go along with. So give me your feedback on that in the comments box down below as well. Without further ado, let's get into the play along. 